Okay, so this video is going to show us um, how to create a task. And um, in the last video, we showed how to create a contact, which uh, we created John Test Tester here. So we're going to click click on John Test Tester, right? And we can create a task without doing it from the contact page, but it's better to do it from the contact page. That way, you can associate. Uh, the event for this particular person, for example, let's say creating a, uh, uh, a, a a task to do something for this person. When the task uh, is looked at, you can associate it with this person. So right down here, you have uh, option to create a new task. So you just click on that, and it will give you uh, this little box. And you just say, uh, call John test. whatever subject you want to put in you can put that in there and you put uh, when do you want uh, to call John Tess so let's say we want to call him January 15th he's coming back from vacation on the 14th we want to call him on the 15th so we'll put that in for the 15th um, put your if this is not your name then you put the name that um, your name or whoever is going to get this so let's say um, this person is the person who you want to call John Test. You put that person's name here from the list of, of uh, owners that you have here. All right. If you're the owner, then you would leave your name under here. All right. Um, you also have some uh, other fields here: recurrent activity. So if you want this to happen every month, uh, you can say it's going to start on the 15th. And you want it to end uh, uh, on April 15th, right? And <clears throat> you want to repeat. If you want to repeat this activity, let's say you have to call this guy every 15th of the month. Uh, you want to repeat this monthly, right? So let's say it's a bill that he has to pay every month, and you want to call him. And you want to repeat uh, on the uh, first day. Of every one month, right? And you just press done. Uh, so there's uh, just little options that you can do. A lot of people don't need that for um, just specific, uh, just a regular um, task like these. But um, there's some more event, more fields here. You can put a description, uh, details, John. show uh, so details about what you're uh, calling him about you can put here um, and uh, contact name you can <coughs> create this as a contact you could create it as a lead we can go into that later but we'll leave it as a contact since we're doing it from the contact page and here are these some other things that we already put in it's related to the Northeast account uh, you can change that if you like. Um, uh, then once you're done, you press uh, status, not started. That's that's standard. If you want it to be in progress or whatever, you can change the status here. And you can also send an email notification. And this email notification is going to go to the person it's assigned to. Right? Remember we did that. We looked at who it's assigned to before. So. You can also send an email notification to that person. All right, so you would check there. Press done. All right, and then press save here. All right. So now let's see the task that we created. Um, open activities is be on the op open activities. So the task would be uh, which one did we create today? Modified time. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Modify time 1228. So I believe this one was it. Okay, so this was the one we created. All right, so it's uh, let's go back here. All right, so on the John John Tent Tester, uh, we have 
this one that we created to call John looks like it um, actually duplicated three times uh, it's not supposed to do that uh, it's supposed to be just one uh, particular um, task that's created but it looks like it's uh, we can close the rest of them if you like and that's just basically how you close them right right and then you can delete these if you like you know if you have authority to delete you can delete these here and because we don't want it, we only need one right so we'll delete those now we only have one left and it's open right and it will sit here until you close it so if you want to go back in and let's say that you call John already you looked at it and you call John <coughs> and you want to com completely close this you can go in and say close so you would edit and just change the status to completed save right and now it's closed so if you go back to the contact all right you can literally see if you scroll down a little more right so now it was up here on the open activities now you can see it down here on the closed activities so it's completed anything up here needs to be done anything down here is already done and then when you close the task it gets dropped down here so that's something good to know um, after you close the task this is where you can look for it if you want to take a you know go back and take a look at the task that you've done and that's how you create uh, task in the uh, CRM.